Editing the page settings is perhaps one of the most important pages to learn about. Now if you're part of a system with a team or a company, you may not need to ever see this page, but those independent marketers who are looking to expand and grow and develop have your own ideas and you want to test those ideas with the different capture pages, then this page is essential for you to understand. Now some of you are even perhaps wondering, how did he get to this page? So let's take you to the dashboard. And when you come down here to System Pages and go to Capture Pages, it opens up Capture Pages. And then we're going to go here to All Affiliates. That's where we see the Capture Pages. And then under one of the thumbnails, you have Edit Page Settings. When you click that, it opens up the edit page settings page. I want to use this one here 0056 because I know there's a lot of dynamic pieces to this page so I can get a good video with many of the different moving parts. I want to go over this entire page so that you have a good understanding of how to use this. First we have the ability to make a carbon copy of the page and what happens when you click that is it will put the page as a carbon copy. Let's go ahead and do that. We went ahead and did a carbon copy of it. And so now when we're here on the capture page section and we go to my capture pages, we'll see that we ended up with that page as a duplicate in the my capture page section. Now technically, some of the more advanced pages don't work as well in the My Capture Page section. Uh, this is one of those pages and so what we chose to do was to make multiple copies of the same capture page. So here you'll see that you have 555657 five, five, all essentially the same capture page. If you have a need for another capture page, say 5.8, then let us know and we can go ahead and put another version up. But that's what the duplicate page is for. Next, we have roll back to the original. If you edit your page and perhaps you either A, make some mistakes that you're unable to recover from or B your page is no longer relevant to what you're marketing at the time but you still want to use the page and would like to get back to the original way the page looked then you simply click roll back to original and this resets you to the original template so that you can then build again from the foundation up. I don't ever recommend having to use this. Just turns off the HTML ability for the WYSIWYG down below. We have something here that you should read over and certainly consider a domain name so you brand yourself. We have some quick links here that just go to different parts of the system. We have this video that you're watching or a video that is specific to a page that needs additional instruction. Then we also have the third party emailer option. Now also we have backups. This is extremely important to use if you're editing your own page. You may accidentally delete all the code. And so we recommend every three to five minutes you can simply come and click this button and you'll see that it creates a backup of the page that you can then go back to. Should you make a mistake, you can go back three minutes of your editing. You'll be able to click on this. It'll load the code that was in your WYSIWYG box at the time you click the backup button. So you can do this as many times as you want. Here we'll do it again. And here it's one minute later. And so you can continue to make backups, which of course is very valuable, like a restore point option. Now we get into the page settings. And first we have the metadata. 
this is how your page can look on the Google search engine and there are multiple people on our system that are able to rank their capture pages for various keywords this is the title this is the description and then they don't show keywords but keywords are relevant they tell search engines in general what your page is about so with this image you can go ahead and fill in your title your description and add some keywords about five or six keywords is typically good after you complete the metadata we have form data and the form data is not relevant to every page but what this allows you to do if you're marketing and you don't want to collect phone numbers you can turn this off or if you don't want to collect the, the name you can turn it off so that you would only collect email we typically have name email and phone as a default some of the pages that are more into e-commerce and almost like looking for resumes we can go ahead and add more or for some of the real estate capture pages that we have where you want more data we also use these fields to create specific capture pages for people after the form data we then have our page data and there are two important items here first is your lead group this is the series of autoresponders and the lead group tied together we default it to 0056 but if you've created your own autoresponder series then you want to drop the menu down and find your autoresponder series if you want to create your own autoresponder series then go over to the autoresponders and you'll see videos there on how to do that next is the redirect URL the redirect URL is the web page be it YouTube, Facebook, a company site, an eBay auction, anything you want, you specify that URL in this field here. And we do have a video that talks all about the redirect URL. Next, we have some options where you can turn on a live chat feature. You can turn on a social inviter. We do have an exit pop-up. You can password protect the page you can use a delayed action on your page and we have a notify API all of these are more technical if you're a beginner to this I recommend you do not frustrate yourself with these settings until at such time you've gotten used to the system and then you come back to get into more advanced marketing let's go ahead and go back and we're gonna close the page data and then we have our WYSIWYG editor and this page we can go ahead and get in and edit the text there at the top what we can do is go back up to the top and I right click on view your page on the internet open it in a new tab and you'll begin to see that you have your headline your subheadlines, and then you have a video call to action your form and your button and you also see that you have a slider in the background so what we'll do here is we can edit the text here in the WYSIWYG but then when we want to edit say the video we'll come here to the page variables and what you'll see here is this is for the YouTube ID this is for the background image one and you'll see there are six background images and then we have the button let's go ahead and fix the YouTube video first and the way to do that is to simply go to YouTube you find a YouTube video that you would like to use and then you copy these characters after the V equals and sometimes you'll see in the URL it also be like and playlist equals etc but what you want to copy is the V equals before the ampersand so here we're going to copy this code go back to our page variables and we're going to paste it into this field here 
Let's go ahead and save our changes. And then we'll go back and we're going to refresh our capture page. I'm just looking at that hole right over there. That was easy, wasn't it? We also have generic videos that you can use in the system and you can go down below the page variables, open that in a new tab, and then you'll see here a list of videos. You can open them up using the link and then here's the code that you can simply copy and paste in. A lot of these are home business videos and you would paste those right in. Now if for some reason your video doesn't show you want to make sure that you don't have a space in front of your first character. So you can simply put your mouse there and then make sure you backspace and just make sure you have no spaces on either end. Next you have your background images and we have images so we're not going to replace them but you simply go here to background images again right click open in a new tab and what you'll see is we have probably a thousand or more backgrounds that you can choose from so depending on the niche you're in and what you're looking to do you can choose from colors to cars to just landscapes to beach scenes to abstract maps flowers spiritual babies technology etc money holidays flags and there's a lot more you see that we have four different sections of backgrounds and each of those sections have say animals instruments and lots lots more so what you will do is when you're there in the background you'd simply take the five digit code underneath copy that code come back to your page variables and you paste it into the variable for background image one so now if we save our changes and we refresh our page we should see the Canadian flag as our first image which we do now the last setting we can change is the button and again we have a lot of buttons simply right click on buttons open in a new tab and here on this page there are hundreds if not thousands but what we've done is we've collected kind of a hodgepodge of buttons and then we also have buttons that are very uniform so if you were creating one site linked to another then you can also choose from many different call to actions whether you're doing webinar work video work free registrations subscriptions creating accounts downloading whatever it is and if we lack a call to action that we should have then let us know and we're happy to create a button so that everybody can use it. And here what we'll do is we'll put let me in now. So we have we're going to copy that 10036. We're going to put that as our button ID and then we're going to click save changes. We're going to go back to our capture page and here where it says continue tour we're going to refresh our page and we now see it says let me in now so it's very easy to go to the page variables open up those pages get the IDs that you want and paste them into the fields another option that is currently here but still under construction is the social media what you'll do is you'll be opening this and what will happen is these will show up on the right hand side of your capture page and you'll turn on the ones that you want to use and enter in your Facebook page, your Twitter feed, your Google Plus, your Skype 
ID. And down here you can also change the theme. So you see our theme of buttons there. And say we want to go to a hard candy. And then if there is a sign like this, that means an image for that particular social media is unavailable. Say you want to use patches or you want to use stickers or photos, bottle caps, you get the point. Here's some little iPhones or paw prints. And so you begin to see that it can be fun. And what you'll do is you'll again just make sure that you turn this on and type in your Facebook page. Make sure you start with the HTTP and currently it's still not working but that is how it will work and as soon as the social is working those icons will show up right here on the right hand side of your screen which will give you a viral effect of driving people into your social media space as well once you've made any of the changes come on down and click on Save Changes to update your page in the database. If you have any problems, make sure you let us know. By creating a ticket at leadcapturepagebosshelp.com